Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Princess Cruises experts, and today I'm on board the beautiful Majestic Princess. Now we're currently sailing in Alaska, but this beautiful ship sails all around the world, which is something that Princess is exceptional at. And you're gonna see as we tour the ship today why this is such a perfect ship for all those different options. Now Princess is a great option for couples, for groups, and especially for multi-generational family groups. My daughter's first cruise was on board the Ruby Princess, and myself and my family have spent well over 200 days on board because the experience fits us so well. Now we've started off right up here on the pool deck. We're gonna to tour through every single public space here on board the ship. We also have all the rooms and suites on our channel as well. Now when you're ready to book your next Princess Cruise, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of our interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group, and still get that hard travel signature service. Now let's show you this beautiful ship. Now the Majestic Princess is a great choice for a cooler weather climate like Alaska or a nice sunny time down in Australia, New Zealand or the Mexican Riviera. And if you look at this pool deck behind me, you can really see why. It is a very large pool deck for a ship this size. Down below, you've got the large pool here. It's perfect for swimming laps. You've got a small plunge pool on the far side. And then right in the middle, you're actually gonna have a large deck so they can utilize it for parties, but it's actually a fountain. They do a fountain and light show each and every single evening. Now up here in Alaska, those extra hot tubs are a really nice touch. You've got a couple down here, a couple on the top, and then there's more throughout the ship as well. There's quite a bit of sun deck space. So right up here is the main sun deck. It actually goes all the way back. It wraps around on the sides as well where you're gonna have those classic princess loungers and chairs. And just up above, you're actually gonna have another sun deck. So on the Majestic Princess, you get a little more sun deck area and viewing space. Today, when we were in Alaska, there were quite a few people up there. The extra sun deck over on the far side as well that's right below the Movies Under the Stars screen. Now, Princess created the concept of Movies Under the Stars, where you can have this massive screen outside. They were the very first one to do it. There's lawn chairs all along the side here. There's more loungers down below as well. So you can imagine sitting out here in Alaska with a blanket or somewhere in the Caribbean or Mexico watching a first run movie. They also do some ed educational options on the big screen as well. It's utilized throughout the day. So whether you're up here during the day or you come up in the evening. Now I really love that they also do popcorn and cookies, a really great way to watch a movie. Now all along the sides, you're gonna actually see lighting because the entire pool deck can be transformed into a party atmosphere. Now, Princess does an unbelievable job in Alaska. There's so many spaces on this top deck where you can spread out and explore. I love this sea walk here. We're actually on the top level. We'll take you down to the other in a minute, but it's cantilevered off the side of the ship. So as you can imagine, this is a tremendous place to view. We're actually just heading out of Glacier Bay right now. If you wanna know more about Princess in Alaska, we have a full video there, and we've done it over 20 times ourselves, and we'd love to share that experience with you and book your Alaska cruise. So I just headed down the stairway to the main pool deck area. You're gonna have a ton of loungers all around here out in the sun. So if you want a little bit of sunbathing, you can definitely do that. Now, something really unique about this particular pool is it's all tied together. So you have the fountain in the middle that we already talked about a few minutes ago. You have the small wading pool on the far side as well. But wrapped all the way around, you're gonna see you have this teak bench style seating. So you can sit and put your toes in the water the entire length of the pool deck. Now you're gonna have booth seating over on the side. You have seating in the shade. So whether you wanna be in the sun or get a little bit of shade, you have that option down here as well. Now on the sides, you're gonna have more seating. You're gonna have tables and chairs. They're actually an extension of the dining options here. Now you can dine from several different options. The first one is the burger and lobster grill. You can get a delicious lobster roll or one of those classic burgers, hot dogs. That Americana feel is what they're gonna have right there. Now on the other side, they have the noodle bar. Now when this ship originally launched, it launched in China. Now that's one of those legacies of launching in China. And instead of converting it back, it's been a huge hit, especially up here in Alaska. You can imagine a nice warm bowl of Tom Yum soup or ramen. They do a really, really excellent job with that. Now, right in the middle, you're also going to have the pool bar. They're going to provide service for drinks. Now, as we continue through the space, you're also going to have some lounge style seating that's tucked away in the shade as well. You see this booth right here that we're walking past. And then just over to the other side, you're going to have some more tables and chairs. And that actually wraps all the way around. 
Now on this side of the ship, you're gonna find the Seawalk. Now the Seawalk is a totally unique feature that they added on the Royal Princess. So you're gonna find these on the Royal class ships. And the idea of it is we're actually about 10 to 15 feet off the side of the ship right now. So you see the wall right there, that's actually the side of the ship. This is all cantilevered off the side. So we started up above and showed you what it looked like from there. But what's so cool about this is when you look down, what I see below me is water. So this is clear glass that you can head on, look, look down there. So of course, if you're a little bit afraid of heights, you may wanna avoid this particular area. Now they have it on the other side as well. We're gonna head over there in just a second. That one's a little bit different. Now on the port side of the ship, you're gonna have another one of the sea walks where you can look down below you and see the ocean below. It's cantilevered off the side. Now this side has a bar, so I like it just that much better. Now the bar has seating on both sides where you can sit. There is a massive pool deck here on board with just about something for everyone. So those of you who've been watching our channel for a while, every time I do a ship tour, I always talk about my favorite dessert option on board. Of course, soft serve ice cream. This is no exception. Swirls is amazing. You're gonna have different options each and every day. They also have all kinds of fun toppings if you wanna add those on as well. How's it going, Maya? Very well, how are you? I am perfect. Look, she knows me. I've got my two scoops. Now, some people will make a, tradition, a, a swirl the traditional way. I make it my way. Look at that, twice as much. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna need a minute here. Mm-hmm. So now we're just inside the World Fresh Marketplace. Now this is the casual dining buffet here on board and it is an absolutely massive space. It's redundant, so you're gonna have the exact same in the back side as well. So it's gonna be breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day and they'll have an egg station here in the morning. They'll have a carvery later on in the afternoon and evening. You've got your soup, salad bar stations, quite a few different options. Now I'm gonna take you further back and show you the rest of it. Is as you move through, it's almost like two completely different spaces. Now I'm gonna take you into the bakery. Now what the bakery is, is it's a coffee shop and exactly what it sounds like. Now in the morning, that's gonna be all about the different danishes and the muffins. As I head on in, this is gonna be all set up there each and every single morning. And then later in the afternoon, it turns into the dessert station. So, well, you know how I feel about dessert. If you've been watching us for a while, they're gonna have more over in the corner. And then of course, they always have those fresh cookies. It's also going to be used as a coffee shop. So you've got the coffee shop set up right here. They've got all the different syrups, the espresso machines. Now there's quite a few different coffee options here on board. But what I love is they have these set up throughout. Now one of the things that Princess has always been good at, and I've been really impressed on this particular cruise, is how they handle dietary needs. Here's a little bit of an example of that. So you've got sugar-free options, you also have gluten-free options. They have a ton of alternatives for each and every one of you. Now throughout the buffet, you're gonna find these complimentary drink stations. So there's a couple different options. You're gonna have coffee there ready for you, your hot water, a wide variety of teas. They're also gonna have hot chocolate for you. Over here, you're gonna find water. You've got milk, skim, and whole milk. Ooh, hot chocolate. Excited for that, I'll see you in a minute. You've got your water and ice, and then they're always gonna have iced tea and lemonade as well. Now during the morning, this is gonna be swapped out for some different juice options. Now we just headed a little bit further aft. Now this is set up for lunch right now. You've got quite a few different options. I see pulled pork, soft tacos, and enchiladas. You've got snapper, so there's beef and chicken and fish options as well. In fact, you got a delicious roasted salmon right there. We are in Alaska after all, currently sailing. Now you can see they're gonna have a carvery. This is really the main buffet line. Ooh, shrimp's calling my name as well. Now something that I love that they've done with this buffet is they've also added quite a few different grab and go options and different stations. So right here, as we head around, you're gonna see that you have cheese and meat. So if you want a little bit of charcuterie, you can take advantage of that right there. Now they're gonna have an identical buffet line on the other side, but all in the middle here, they have all those different stations. So you've got sandwiches that are prepared and ready to go. You've got some small bites here, a salad bar. This is all one large salad bar. And then all around, wrapped around, you're gonna have made to go salad options, bread, bakeries, and fruits. Now, one little thing that I wanted to point out is that this side is going to be the same as the other side. So oftentimes people stop at the first buffet. It's human nature, I believe. So I always recommend to head all the way further back here. So you've got options on the side over there and then wrapped all the way around, you're gonna find more of what you saw. So you've got those tacos once again. They've always have some wonderful grilled vegetable options back here. I've really appreciated that as well. And because we're sailing in Alaska, they have some special options like today, they're doing fish tacos and the large salmon. 
Now, once again, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whatever it is that you're choosing, if you want that fast, casual option where you can come and go as you'd please, the buffet is a perfect option for so many people. And when I was traveling with my family, especially my daughter was littler, it was so great to come up and have a huge variety to grab from and then head on out and enjoy your day. At the very aft of the ship, you're gonna find a continuation of the dining space. Now, I love that you can take your food just outside here and you can dine al fresco with some of the most incredible views in the world. Now, also on the back here, you'll find the Wake View Bar. So if you love an outdoor bar, restaurant space, this is spectacular. Now, here in Alaska, it's prime real estate, but really anywhere that this ship cruises. Now you can see back here you have a full bar setup. Now there's quite a few different options that you can utilize. You can pay as you go for drinks. You can also purchase a package or you can take advantage of Princess Plus that's gonna bundle the beverage package in for you. In fact, that's the most popular option from our customers because it's gonna include just about everything that you need here on board. Now, something the Princess has done that has absolutely revolutionized the cruise industry is the Ocean Medallion. So you see here, what that is, is a small RFID chip. So you can wear it lots of different ways. They have watch add-ons and clips. This is what they're gonna give it to you when you board the ship. Now, it's so much more than your room key. Everybody's familiar with having a room key to get in and out and charge throughout the ship. It is so much more than that. So it's gonna take advantage of the medallion net, some of the best internet in the entire industry. And really it's about the internet of things. Everything is connected here on the ship. You're gonna utilize this when you get on and off the ship. You're gonna utilize it as your room key. In fact, you don't even need to take it out of your pocket when you approach your door. It's gonna know that you're there and it's gonna unlock the room and identify that for you. Now, in addition to that, you can utilize it throughout the ship to enhance quite a few different experiences. One of those is ordering food and drink. You can use the app. I definitely recommend that you download the app before you board the ship and make sure that you complete all your information in there. In fact, give them every bit of information that you possibly can. If you put in your dietary needs, all of those, every single time that you're close by, they're gonna be able to identify that for you. You're also gonna load your picture in there so they know exactly who it is. In addition to that, you're gonna use that to get on and off the ship, kind of replaces that security feature and makes it a lot quicker to do, to do that. You can also dine as you go. The Dine My Way has been a huge success here with Princess. Once again, on the app, you can pick who you wanna dine with, which dining room, which specialty, and you can program it right there. But the entire experience here on board is enhanced because the crew also has that as well. Now the crew has a different version of the app that it allows them to enhance the service, understand who you are, what you're looking for, answer a lot of questions for you as well. One thing that I mentioned earlier that I just wanna stress is you wanna get this all completed and filled out before you board the ship so that when you head on board, you're gonna sync it up and get right to business. Now, right above the Wakeview bar, you're gonna have a bit more seating. So if you want the lounge chairs, they've got a sunny area. You also have an area in the shade over, over there, but they're gonna set up all the lounge chairs around. And then one deck up, you also have a little bit more sun deck area as well. Now, in the aft of the ship, you're gonna find the sports court area. It's surrounded by different activities. So you see you have a full basketball court here. They also have some soccer nets that they'll set up on either side. In fact, the crew usually gets a pretty good game going up here. In addition, they can utilize this for pickleball. They'll do free play, different tournaments, all kinds of different options. Now on either side, you're gonna have outdoor exercise equipment, kind of set up like a park style. So you can kind of circuit through, rotate, do it on either side. In addition, you're gonna have the putting green just up above. So this is a traditional putting green, so you can work on your game a little bit while you're on board. Down below, they're gonna have bullseye. It's a shooting area where you can actually practice shooting. And finally, they're gonna have quite a few different ping pong table options. Now, these are set up a little bit differently than you're gonna find elsewhere, where they're kind of tucked away from the wind. I really do appreciate that. But if you wanna have a little bit more active day on board, of course, there's plenty of space to walk around, jog and run, or you could take advantage of any of the exercise equipment up here or down in the fitness center. Now, just outside the sport court, they're gonna have four of these extra power binoculars that are set up. So all you have to do is step on up, don't have to put a quarter in them as well. And you can actually see quite a distance and they're also going to autofocus nice little feature that you can take advantage of. Now, I do recommend that you bring with you some high power binoculars when you're cruising in Alaska. Now, if you've chosen to upgrade to one of the suites, they're gonna provide those for you right in the room. 
Now I really love that they have the ping pong set up in several different cages. It's almost like a batting cage. You've got netting on all the sides, so you don't have to chase down the ping pong balls. And I've done that so many times while cruising. Now some of my favorite memories on board Princess have to do with my daughter's very first cruise. The first cruise I took with my wife and I on the love boat. And one of our favorite things to do, this is right after we started dating, was playing ping pong. In fact, we spent a lot of nights playing ping pong, talking, getting to know each other, wandering around the ship and really enjoying our time. But I have so many wonderful memories with this. And this ship actually has the best setup I've ever seen on board a cruise ship. Now a complimentary activity that they have on here on board that's a lot of fun that you can take part in with friends is the Bullseye Virtual Shooting Range. So essentially it's similar to what you would do in an arcade, like a big game hunter kind of thing, but even more extreme. Once again, you can sign up with a small group. You do need to sign up in advance, so we recommend that you do that. All you gotta do is once you get all set up, basically you've got a laser scope here, go hunting, have a little bit of competition and see who's buying the drinks. Now as we head forward, I wanted to point out another seating area. So you've got this area here where you can sit, take in the beautiful views, really nice relaxing place to chill. Now I'm gonna head into the Hollywood Pool Club. This is the solarium here on board. So Princess has done a great job with solarium throughout. This is no exception. It's also a combination with the Hollywood Conservancy. We'll talk about both of those spaces as we head on in. Now we're just inside, you can get a better idea of what this is all about. You've got a pool right here in the middle. It's big enough to be a lap pool. Of course, you can always come in here, relax as well, and then wrapped all the way around this pool as well, you're gonna have this seating area where you can sit and put your toes in the water. Now, all around the main pool area, you're gonna have seating. So you're gonna have those loungers on either side. And then you also have seating facing out. I'll take you over there in just a minute. Right in the middle is the pool bar. So that's gonna provide service throughout all this space. Now something the Princess has done here, just like the pool deck outside, and like so many other spaces, is they've really turned it into a dynamic space. Those are actually large projectors up above there. Of course, you see the solarium roof up above me, but those projectors can shine right on the wall. They'll do movies and entertainment, and this can actually turn into a really cool party spot and nightclub in the evening. Now, once again, you've got the bar in the middle, so that's gonna provide service to the Conservancy around the front, and also provide service right here in the main pool area. Now, one of the things that makes this the perfect space wherever it is that you're traveling is that the entire area is climate controlled. So now up here in Alaska, it's heated. When you're out in the Caribbean, Mexico, wherever it is that you are where it's a little warmer, it's going to be air conditioned. In addition, this is an adults only space. I love that they have that dichotomy here. They have a ton of space dedicated to the kids and the kids club. This is the adults only spaces. Now all along the wall, they're gonna have cabanas. Now something that's interesting here is they're not utilizing that for it anymore. So anybody can grab those and use them anytime that you'd like. Now on the starboard side, you're gonna find this really cool wall. What it actually is, it's, it's a photo album and the entire itinerary from one of the world cruises on the Pacific Princess. So this particular one was 111 days. I've cruised extensively on the Pacific Princess, one of my all time favorites. Did a 30 day a couple years ago and met an incredible group of friends that I now call my family. Several of them went to our wedding and we still keep in touch today. A world cruise is such a special experience. Now, if you wanna check that out, make sure you let us know it is one of our specialties. But you can see here, it starts in Fort Lauderdale and works all the way around the world and ends back up in Fort Lauderdale. All of these on the wall are pictures from the journey itself. It's a really cool touch. Now one space that you will only find on board the Majestic Princess is the Hollywood Conservatory. So we're in here right now. It's just in front of the Hollywood Pool. Now this space is the sanctuary on the other princess ships that are of the same class. So this really stands out as being unique. It's a complimentary feature that you can utilize throughout your cruise. It's incredibly popular. It turns into a nightclub area as well. But here in Alaska, the viewing is spectacular. Basically, it's the entire front of the ship wrapped all the way around. So they have different spaces here. You can see the bench seats, and of course, you've got the foliage over there. And as we continue through, you can see why it's such a dynamic space. So right here is where they actually had the ranger station set up. Where you can talk with the National Park Rangers. They've got the large flat panel TV. They'll do movies and shows in here. They also have the lighting because the entire area, like I mentioned, can also turn into a nightclub type space in the evening. Now you have a continuation of the solarium here. So you've got 
the sun coming in from up above. I love that you have the windows up above and wrapped all the way around here. It's one of the reasons my wife loves this particular space as a sewing space. Now all along the front, you're gonna have tables and chairs that face out. You've got a little bit more of these seating areas and then you have seating on both sides in addition to these cabanas. Now they used to be for sale. They've opened them up so that everybody can take advantage of those spaces. Now another interesting feature that they have set up all throughout this area is different percussion instruments, which makes Taylor really happy because he's a drummer. Let's see what we've got here today. There we go, I like it. Next up, we'll explore the fitness center. So you have a ton of cardio in here. In fact, you have an entire wall of cardio. You got these interactive low seat bikes. You have a couple interactive ones here as well. You've got the hand pedals and then a ton of treadmills. You can imagine doing aerobics while looking out at the beautiful ocean view is a fantastic combination. Continuing along, you've got a couple rowing machines. You've got more of the high seated bikes. You're gonna have a couple more bikes as well right here. And then as we continue along, you're gonna have ellipticals. Now there's a few ellipticals along the wall as well, but the entire area we're covering now, this is cardio all along the ocean view. Next up, you're gonna find the different circuit machines. So you've got a Smith machine over there. You've got arms, legs, and of course your core as well. And then in the far corner, you're gonna find all of the different free weights. You've got the benches, and then you've got the different dumbbells and barbells. Now, as we head over here, you can see the rest of the equipment tucked just over there in the corner, leg press over there as well. And next up, we're gonna head into the aerobic studio. Now, if you're someone who enjoys exercise classes like spinning or yoga, they even have TRX in here as well. This is a fantastic option to take advantage of on vacation. So you can do a little bit of that competitive exercise. You can also do one-on-one -on -one personal training and body composition analysis. But in here, you can see it's quite a big space. The entire wall here has all the equipment tucked behind there on both sides. And then you're also gonna have the TV right there in the middle. When you do the spinning, they'll be set up in a half moon shape all around around, but this is that place for all the different aerobic exercise classes. Now, Princess has completely revolutionized their entire kids program with their partnership with the Discovery Channel. So this entire area is called Discovery Camp at Sea. They're gonna have all kinds of activities that are tied together on the educational side and the fun side. They'll have age appropriate programming throughout the entire stay. And as an educator myself, I really value the fact that they tie it all together, but they still make sure that the kids have a great time. Now over here in the corner is a reading nook. So this is the smallest kiddos. This is gonna be the three to seven year old. They call it the tree house. So you can see you have different configurations where you can sit and read. You got the beanie bags as well. They've got the little cubbies for their shoes over there. Now let's head into the main part of the space. So you're gonna have six video game stations right here, three on this side, three on the other. You're gonna have this area where it's kind of set up as a stage. So right in the middle, they're gonna have a TV where they do movie time. They also have an Xbox Connect so they can play competitive games as well. And then over here, you're gonna have an air hockey table. Now you'll see that there's cabinets all around the entire space. They're gonna have arts and crafts. And once again, those really highly interactive and STEM style activities as well to learn. Now for this particular cruise, we are in Alaska. So they have the Junior Rangers book. They're gonna dig deep into that program once again at each different level. So you have this craft area here. We've got all the little tables and chairs. You've got the hand washing stations. They also have the restrooms in the space itself. And I really like that they do that, especially when my daughter was potty training. It was really nice that she had something that was her size. Now over here, you have this play area, jungle gym. There's a slide. You've got an area where you can climb up and around and then hide underneath as well. You've got a little house tucked over here in the corner and then some more of those chairs that they can reconfigure. Now they're gonna have all kinds of activities inside. They also even have an outdoor dedicated area as well. So now we're in the outdoor area. They have several different games that they can play. They've got hopscotch and a little track over here, but they'll bring out bowling, bean bags, all kinds of different fun. Now we're inside the lodge. This is the area dedicated to the eight to 12 year olds. So as soon as you enter, you're gonna have foosball. You're gonna have a large full-size air hockey table. I love that they have a basketball game and ski ball. This is all complimentary for the kids. You've got a large amount of video game stations as well. You've got four on this side four on the other side. I wanted to point this out really quick. Princess does an incredible job partnering with the U.S. Forest Service. So this is the Junior, Acti Junior Ranger Activity and Coloring Book. They're gonna get their Glacier Bay badge as well. But every single stop and every single day, they're gonna have some new exploration to learn about the wildlife, where it is that you're visiting in the world. 
Now in here, you, what you see is a really chill living room space. So you've got a large screen in the middle, they'll do movie time. They also do Xbox Connect there so they can do interactive fun and games. You've got couches all around and they can mix and match the bean bags. Over here, you have a continuation of it. They're gonna have their own jukebox. You're gonna have chairs and a large couch. Now in the middle there, it actually kind of goes between this and the larger age kids group. And you're gonna have the counselors that can be right there to help control different things. Now let's continue on through the space because it is even larger than that. Over along the wall here, you're gonna have all of these different workstations and tables. Once again, they're gonna do arts, they're gonna do crafts, they're gonna do science, experiments, all kinds of things tied back to the Animal Planet and to the Discovery Channel. Next up is the Beach House. This is the area dedicated to the 13 to 17 year olds. You'll see it's a little bit more of a sophisticated setup. It's really meant to treat them as young adults. So you have a ton of different separate seating areas. You've got these really cool nooks that are over against the wall. In fact, I'm blown away that they've dedicated so much space and prime real estate to the different kids club options. Now here in the middle, you're gonna have a large TV in the middle there. They do Xbox Connect for games as well. You can see you have the sofa set up all the way around for that. Now tucked over in the corner, you're gonna have a foosball table. You also have an air hockey table. And then we're gonna continue to head around. Now, if you were to continue all the way out, you're actually gonna head out onto the deck. So this is the end of the kids club area. Let me take you just around the corner here because you're always gonna check in on the other side. Now, right over here, you're gonna have a couple ski ball machines. These are complimentary to use. You also have a ping pong table to do tournaments and fun things like that. And then in here, you've got the video game center. So there's three over here, and then you're gonna have nine more on this far side here. So quite a few different options depending on what you'd like to do. Now, in addition to that, they're gonna tie in that STEM level education, that partnership with the Discovery Channel. But I really appreciate that they've dedicated so much prime real estate to the kids clubs, because we all know if every single member of the family is having a great time, it's gonna be a perfect cruise for everyone. So now I'm just inside the concierge lounge, the VIP lounge here. This is that spot specifically for those who are staying in suites and the club class mini suites. So you've got a lot of social space in here. You've got tables and chairs. You've got a large couch, two over there. You've got several setups that are similar all throughout the space. Now, what this really is, is it's a place where you can come and meet with the concierge. They can answer all your questions, help you with reservations, basically your personal concierge throughout. And in addition to that, they're also gonna have food and beverage set up. So you're gonna have the espresso maker just here so you can come and utilize this. It is open 24 hours a day. In addition to that, they'll do a breakfast set up in the morning for continental breakfast. They'll also do some lunch and then light bites in the evening. And they also do a complimentary happy hour. Now our concierge on board, Darko, has been doing an incredible job. Once again, the key focus to this is this is your own personal concierge to come in and really upgrade the entire experience here on board. So now we're just inside the Princess Theater. You can see it's set up in stadium style seating. Now Princess has really dedicated a ton of resources and energy to their entertainment over the last couple years. They've designed all kinds of different shows with exquisite partnerships. So this is where you're gonna see those Broadway style productions over the top with lots of great songs, some of those classics that you'll sure to be singing along to. Now, in addition to that, they really focus on the education. So we're here in Alaska, they'll do a series of educational lectures here on the stage. They'll also do an impressionist tonight. You'll have different vocal acts, comedians. So they're gonna mix and match. So there's entertainment every single evening here in the theater. And then during the day, they'll use it primarily for enrichment. But if you've been on a princess cruise before, you know what the entertainment's all about. It's always gonna have a lot of energy, singing, dancing, and all those classic songs that you can sing along to. Now, right in the middle of the ship, you're gonna find the beating heart of this beautiful vessel. It is the Piazza. Now, at the center of every Italian community, you're gonna have the Piazza right in the center. It's where everything's going on. We go to the grocery store, there might be some street entertainment, a tavern. That's really what this is meant to be. It's a gathering place. It's over three decks. So right now we're up on deck seven, goes down to deck six, and then down below on deck five. In the middle there, they're gonna do all kinds of different entertainment options. They'll do acrobats, they'll do street performers. They'll also do demonstrations and tastings. And then all around, they're gonna have the different venues. But what I love about this is it's absolutely stunning. They've had atriums before on their other classes of ships, but on the Royal class ship, there's just something beautifully designed and special about it. You have the signature glass elevators on the far side there. I've taken those up and down quite a few times on princess ships in my life. Now we're gonna tour all the different areas around the beautiful piazza, and we'll finish up down below on deck five. 
On the starboard side, you'll find a wide variety of high-end luxury retail. So you've got Cartier over there, Omega, Chapard, and then finishing up, you're gonna have Bulgari. Now, if you're looking for some options here on board with retail therapy, there is a ton of retail on board the ship. This is just one small section dedicated to the high-end luxury options, but the reason people really appreciate shopping on board a ship is that it is duty-free. So, so many times, so much of the cost is associated with the tax or duty, you can get a really great price here on board. So now we're gonna head into the shops of Princess. Now this particular ship, when it was launched, it was in the Chinese market. And with all ships designed for the Chinese market, there's always quite a bit more retail. So this ship actually has more retail, including high-end, than any other ship in the fleet. So as we walk through, you've got a large area of cosmetics and perfumes that you can utilize. They've got the Effie shop over on the other side. They do partner with Effie if you're looking for some of that high-end luxury jewelry. You've got different shops with Coach over there, so you can get the purses all of the different options here. Now that's more than just the high-end retail. They're gonna do pop-up shops all around. They do the inch of gold, do different promotions and specials here. So right here in the middle is where they do all the different pop-up options. You can also have your princess logo gear over on the far side. Now this beautiful space is Bistro Sur Le Mer. It is a French restaurant by Chef Emmanuel Renault. It is exquisite French dining. Now it's gonna have a mix and match of different options from the land and from the sea, so if you want with those lobster, fish, or scallop options that can complement with some duck or beef. Now you're gonna have a wide variety of options here, but it really truly is an unapologetically French menu. I really love that. So when you're looking for specialty dining here on board, they really do have some that specialize. Now for me, it's all about those seared scallops and, well, the lemon and lime meringue pie. I'll be back again for another meal. Set just next to Bistro Sur Le Mer, you're gonna find the Ocean Terrace Bar. So it's a full bar here. And what I love about this particular one is of course you can sit at the bar, they have seating all the way around, but it overlooks the entire piazza. So we're on the top level of the piazza here, you can grab a drink and sit, people watch, but also it's that perfect place to come before or after you enjoy a beautiful French meal. So now we're just inside Princess Live. This is an interactive entertainment venue. They're gonna do all kinds of different game shows in here, so if you wanna have that kind of fun, they'll do that. They'll have beanbag toss, different kinds of games that you can compete in as well. Now you've got stadium style seating all the way around. You see the big spotlights back there. They also have the sound booth. Now this is a really high tech space. When they do the demonstrations up here, they've got the cameras and everything they can show down if they're doing culinary or something along those lines. Of course, Princess is all about lifelong learning and enrichment. So they'll have different enrichment activities in here as well. So throughout the day, they'll mix and match. And depending what your interests are, this may be a perfect spot for you. Now, just outside of Princess Live, you have the Princess Live Cafe. So it's a full bar. They'll provide service inside the Princess Live as well. You can also grab a drink here and there's seating all around. Now, I did want to point out it's another one of those areas where you can take advantage of the coffee shop. So they do have a small coffee shop here as well, in addition to the main one. So depending when you're looking in the morning, you want to check out one of those. So now we're headed into the Crown Grill and Bar. Now the Crown Grill is one of those princess classics. It's the steakhouse. It's their original specialty restaurant. Just in front, you're gonna have a large lounge space here. They've got a pianist, they'll do live music here in the evening, so you can definitely come and have a drink before you head on into the restaurant, or you can just sit here and relax anytime. Now on the far side, you're gonna have the full bar service set up over here. Of course, they've got the complete bar. This is gonna service both the restaurant and the lounge here. And then as we head on in, just wanted to point out that this really is an unapologetic steakhouse. They have a wide variety of seafood that's absolutely delicious, but it's all about the different cuts of steak. You also have lamb chops and veal, a wide assortment of appetizers, including my all-time favorite, those jumbo shrimp. You've got soups and salads, really all in that classic steakhouse feel. Now you're gonna have booth seating all around. You're also gonna have tables for two, four, and six. You can always ask for one of those tables by the window if you'd like. Now I do really appreciate that they have an open kitchen concept. You get the incredible smell of the steaks as you come into the restaurant here. And then there's also a few other great features that I really like. There's even a private wine room tucked around the corner. Let me take you right over there. Now, if you're celebrating a special occasion with friends, you can make sure and take advantage of the wine room here. So there's a table for six set up. They can get a little bit more in here as you need. And you're surrounded by an incredible collection of wines. Now, Princess is one of the largest consumers of wine in the entire world. They have a really fantastic large collection. And of course, you're gonna have the sommelier that can guide you through the process. 
So now we're inside the library. It's not quite as big as you're gonna find on some of the other ships, but you've got quite a bit of a collection here that you can check out and utilize while you're on board. There's also quite a few different game options. So if you wanna check out and play some checkers, chess, looks like they got Monopoly, Taboo, lots of fun interactive games, especially when you meet new friends traveling on one of the longer cruises. Now this is also the loyalty ambassador's office. So Tina's over here. She's done an incredible job throughout the cruise, making sure and connect those who are in the captain's circle, whatever your tier is, if you have questions about your benefits, she can take care of those details for you. Now we're in the very back of the ship on deck seven, which is the Vista Lounge. Now this is a show lounge. You've got a stage up in the front, you've got a large screen. They're gonna do movies and things like that. They'll also have impressionists and musical acts, live music with dancing, trivia. They even do the captain's circle reception here. Now they're gonna have bar service that's provided from the back. They also have the sound booth and everything set up so they can do those full production shows. Now one of the things that Princess has really tried to do with the Royal Class ships is have multiple entertainment venues going at any given time. So you can really choose exactly what's perfect for you. So if you combine here with Princess Live and the theater, there's gonna be lots going on for you to choose from. So now we're just inside the Grand Casino. Once again, a ship that was built for the Chinese market. It has a larger casino. There's even a high roller room. We'll take you there in just a minute. Now in the middle here, you're gonna have all the different table games. You've got craps over there. They actually have an interactive roulette game as well. You're gonna have three card poker, blackjack. It looks like you've got Ultimate Texas Hold'em over there. And then several different variations of blackjack and poker. Now you're also gonna have multiple roulette tables as well. And then all around the entire casino, you're gonna have the different games that you can play, whether it's the traditional slot machines, those more interactive new age ones, they're gonna have them for you as well. So right over here, you can see they have some different automated games than they have throughout the rest of the fleet. And then all along the far side, you're gonna have more, more gaming as well. Now, one of the spaces that transformed the most between when this ship sailed in China to the US market is the VIP casino. So this all used to be part of the casino itself. Now they converted it more into a lounge and sports bar. So you can see the giant wall of TVs right here. They've got some tennis on for the US Open. And then as we continue along, you'll see they're gonna have a full bar set up over here on the side as well. Now this still is a VIP casino. In fact, that's just over around the wall here. So if you're looking for some very high-end gaming, that's something they can accommodate. Set on the starboard side of the piazza, you're gonna find Alfredo's Pizzeria. This is one of those all-time classic princess favorites. In fact, several times it's been voted the best pizza at sea. It's all freshly made here. It's a pretty large restaurant for a pizzeria. It's usually open from late in the morning until late in the evening. You're gonna have booth style seating, you got tables for two and four. You can also sit up at the bar here, but this is what it's all about. The guys who make some of the best pizzas around. So you've got the pizza ovens here. You can see they're making it fresh just over to the side. In addition to quite a few different pizza options, of course, you can customize as you'd like. They also have some pasta, soup, and salad options as well. So if you're looking for a light bite, maybe in the afternoon or a late night snack, this is the perfect option for both of those. Now, one of the things you may want to check out while you're here on board is an art auction, but there's other ways to see the beautiful art that they have here. They've got a gallery set up. They'll move it around throughout your stay. You can see they have beautiful offerings. In fact, over here, you've got some offerings from Romero Brito, who was actually on a cruise with us very recently. But as you wander around, I love that you can just check out all kinds of different art. Of course, it's available for purchase and they have a wide variety, more than just the paintings. They're also going to have some pottery. They've got some really cool from the collection of Pablo Picasso over there. And then you've got more sculptures over here. It's also an educational place. So you can sit here and learn about the art. They'll do demonstrations and they're incredibly knowledgeable when it comes to not just their collection, but art in general. So now we're inside the photo and video gallery. This is also a high tech option here on board. So all you have to do is take your medallion, you swipe it right there, and then it's gonna pull up all the photos that they've taken. Now keep in mind, a cruise is the perfect place to make memories for a lifetime and also to capture them. They're gonna be taking photos upon embarkation, also when you get off in different ports, maybe around the port, and then all around the ship. It's always your choice to, choice to take them. They also are gonna do private sittings as well if you wanna create that perfect family moment. But if you're looking for a Christmas card photo or just a memory of your trip, you can come in here and pick out the perfect one or all of them. Now also in this space is the internet cafe. So you've got these little nooks over here where you can sit and work. They also have some computers against the wall over there as well that you can utilize for internet service. 
Now on deck six, you're gonna have another bar. This is Good Spirits at Sea that looks over the piazza as well. It's sandwiched in between the photo gallery and Alfredo's. Now what I love about this is it's a demonstration stage as well. So right now they're actually doing a cocktail making class over there. There's a TV just behind and you've got a camera that focuses down on it. So I love the fact that this is a smart ship. And so all the different entertainment venues are even more dynamic and interactive. People are really enjoying this. Now we're just inside the Concerto dining room. This is the first of the three main dining rooms here on board the ship. It is a complimentary option. Now food has been such an integral part of the Prince's experience from the very beginning. You're gonna have all of your classic favorites that you've come to love. You're gonna have that shrimp cocktail every day, salmon, steak, of course, chicken as well. But what I love so much about it is they're gonna rotate the menu each and every single day. It's gonna allow you to try things for the first time that you may not on land if you have to purchase them at a, a restaurant. But of course, here on board, you can order exactly what you would like and try something new each and every day. Now, my high recommendation is you definitely cap it off at the end with one of those Princess Love Boat Dreams, though my wife's a big fan of the creme brulee. Now this particular restaurant, like I mentioned, is one of three where you can do the Dine My Way come any time that you'd like. You can make that reservation right in the app before you head on down or earlier in the day, especially when you wanna dine with friends together. Now in here, you have larger tables for eight like this. You've got tables for two, four, six up against the window and it's really spread out as well. Now this particular restaurant has two different entrances. On the port side, which is where we are right now, it's going to be the club class dining. So you're gonna have one menu item each and every day that's a little bit upgraded, but the whole idea behind it is there's less people that'll be sitting over here. So if you are in one of those club class rooms, so a club class mini please suite or a full suite, you can come down and dine breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you're gonna have quite a few choices to choose from. Now, once again, anybody else can utilize the other half of the restaurant as well. So on the starboard side, you can use this or the other two complimentary restaurants. Now we're just inside the Allegro dining room. This is another one of those large complimentary dining options here on board. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can see you have the table settings here. Now it goes all the way along the back and the side. So I love that you can look out at the wake or you can ask for a table at the windows. Now it goes tuck all the way around the corner there as well. It's also tiered so you can see you have booths and tables of all sizes. Now one of the things unique to this particular restaurant is the chef's table Lumiere. So you've got that right here. You've got the beautiful chandelier decor up above. It's a really nice large table. They're gonna do an exquisite specialty wine paired meal here where the chef will come out and explain every single course and you can sit back and enjoy. Just aft of the theater, you're gonna find the video arcade. Now, this is the only one of the Royal Class ships that has this in this spot. You got several different crane arm games all the way around. Over here, you're gonna have a boxing game, my all-time favorite. I'm gonna be smoking Taylor in some air hockey here in just a little bit. Right around the corner, you've got the uh, dinosaur game, Jurassic game, I played that with my nephew a lot on our last cruise. And then all the way around here, you're gonna have a couple more writing games. So it's not a huge arcade, it does cost extra, but it's really nice that they have this feature here on board. Now we're getting ready to head into the Lotus Spa. Now right here is the reception. This is where you definitely wanna head down the first day. You get a tour of the spa. They'll explain all the different treatments to you. Of course, they can make appointments for you as well. Now the first area we're gonna visit is the salon. So this is where you can basically get all the same things that you can at a salon at home. So I'm gonna start on the far side over here. They have several different hair stations. Now, as we're heading back, they do have a partnership with Keristis in Paris. All the products here are from them. And of course you can do all kinds of different hair treatments. Once again, anything that you can do at home. Now over here, you have a couple stations for the teeth whitening. That's one of those optional features that you can take advantage of. You've got several hair stations here and then on the other side as well, whether you wanna just get your hair done to head out and have a celebration here on board or a cut and change everything, you can do that here. Now you've got your manicure stations all along the side. You've got a couple hair wash stations and then a couple other hair stations there as well. Now, as we head over to the other side of the salon, I just wanted to point out they've got some of those retail products here. A lot of people like to take advantage of it because it is at a duty-free rate. So it's a little bit less expensive than home from what I've been told. Now we're in the pedicure room. I love that they even have them big enough for my size 15 feet, but you've got one pedicure station here. You've got two more tucked away and they can do those with combination with massage. Now for the gentlemen, they have a full barber shop experience. You've got two chairs here where you can get a shave or a cut. So if you wanna do a little self care, this is the perfect place for that. And I love that they even have a TV and there's sports on, makes me pretty happy. 
Tucked in the corner, you're going to find another pedicure station, and you also have a manicure station over in the corner. So you can run the full circuit here and watch the game. So now we're headed back into the heart of the spa. You've got beautiful decor all the way around. There's pathways down the middle where you're going to have all the different treatment rooms. Now the first stop is going to be the relaxation room, but before we hit there, I wanted to point out you have the ladies and the gentlemen's locker rooms right here. They're going to have lockers, showers, and bathrooms in there, so you can prepare before or after your treatment. So you'll start your journey in the relaxation room. You've got comfortable couches and chairs all the way around on this side and the other as well. In the middle, they're going to have infused waters, teas, maybe some coffee, so you can sit and rejuvenate before or after your treatment. But what it's really about is getting yourself in that zen mindset so you're willing to accept the healing and have an incredible treatment. So this beautiful space is the Enclave. It is the thermal suite here on board the Majestic Princess. Behind me, you're gonna find those stone loungers. They're nice and warm, heated, perfect for the lower back. You've got four more up top there, and then you've got four down here. Now, just inside, you're gonna find one of the two steam rooms that you can utilize in here. Now, you can purchase this as a daily pass or a week pass. The value is in the week-long pass. Now, right here, you have a large hysolotherapy pool. You're gonna have the loungers over there in the corner. You've got the different bubble therapies, the hydrotherapy for the back as well. And then as we continue along, you're gonna have rainforest shower heads. There's several different experiences. You got the Siberian shower, nice and cold, the rain shower, cold mist, and then finally tropical rain. So you can work yourself through that at like a Swiss shower experience. Now on the other side, you can see a little more of the pool here. You're gonna have a steam room and a sauna. And then you have four more of the comfortable loungers right here. Now this is that place where you can come anytime throughout the cruise to just relax and ease your stress. So vacation is all about unwinding and kicking back. To me, grabbing a book and sitting on the lounger or utilizing the pool is a perfect way to do that. Now we're just inside one of the single treatment rooms here. There are a wide variety of different options that you can take advantage of here. It's a massive spa menu every different kind of massage that you can picture. They have facials, they're gonna have ionothermy, thermage, the full Medi Spa experience as well. I wanted to take you in here because one of the best parts of going on vacation is to completely disconnect. And for me, in the spa is the place to do it. You can take advantage of the thermal suite in there with the Enclave, you can combine it with a treatment and mix as match throughout your vacation. Now we're just inside the villa suite here in the spa. This is a special area that you can reserve for different couples treatments. So you can see you have the two beds here where you can get massages. You can turn it into a multi-treatment experience as well. You're gonna have the really nice soaking jacuzzi tub over there in the corner. And in addition to that, you're also going to have a really nice relaxing extra large steam shower. Lots of different options that you can combine and make it extra romantic here in the villa. Now, one of the signature treatments here is the seaweed wrap. You can see it's all set up right here. You've got a little demonstration of the seaweed. They're gonna put you on there. It's a water bed underneath. You're gonna get a massage and you can also combine it with other treatments as well. Now, in this suite itself, you're also gonna have a shower so you can get over there and shower off. And then there's also going to be a massage bed. So like I mentioned, something very, very popular to do is to combine the wrap with maybe one of the hot stone massages, bamboo massages, or deep tissue. Now on the port side of the ship, when this ship was in China, there was a ton of karaoke rooms. They've converted those to extra spa space because it's been so popular here on board. So you've got this massive spa room. You can see it's set up for massage, Medi Spa as well, but you still have the TV and the records. There's a little bit of remnants for when people sang their hearts out down here. Hello, is it me you're waiting for? Let's go. So now we're headed by guest services. So you can see the guest services desk behind me. We got a separate area for suite and elite guests. So that's the top tier of the Captain Circle Club. So this is where you're gonna do everything to do with money. If you have any questions, my high recommendation is to do that during the middle of the week because the first day and the last day, it always gets a little busy as everybody works things out. Now, in addition to guest services, you're also gonna find the shore excursions desk down here. So these are your shore excursions experts. They can work through all of the different options that they have here on board, wherever it is that you're visiting in the world. In fact, they've done quite a few of them themselves, so they can give you advice as well. Now, I do recommend picking your excursions before you arrive, but you can also make some changes or add when you're here on board. 
Now, one restaurant option that you'll only find here on board the Majestic Princess is Harmony. This is a Chinese restaurant, so it's inspired and designed by Chef Richard Chen, who's a Michelin star chef. And they've really kind of reinterpreted that classic Chinese menu. So you've got a pi private table over here. So if you're celebrating a special occasion, you can, of course, ask for that. There's a few of them set around the restaurants. I really appreciate that. So you're gonna have tables for two, four, or much larger. And what you're gonna find is, once again, that classic Chinese dishes. So you can have the crab rangoon, which I love to start with personally. Some beef spare ribs they are gonna move through some different soup options. And then you're gonna have a wide variety of rice and noodle options as well. Choose from in addition to the entrees. But what's unique about this is with this particular ship being built for the Chinese market, this restaurant was designed specifically for that. And it's been such a big hit that they've kept it here on board as it's in the US market now. So if you're looking for one of the best Chinese menus on the seas, check this one out. So next up, we're going to check out the International Cafe. So this is a very fast, casual eating options where you can come grab and go throughout the day. They'll have some breakfast options, lunch, and then snacks before dinner as well. So you have all these different sandwich options here. It looks like you got tuna salad, ham, and croissant. You've got some different quiches and pies to choose from. They have different salads as well. So it looks like you got a Greek orzo salad, chicken and cashew Waldorf salad several other different sandwich options. So you can see there's three or four different types up here. Also have cheese and nuts and dried fruits. And then over here, well, my happy place is of course the dessert station. So they'll mix and match each and every single day. But if I'm gonna walk by, I think I'm gonna have a couple more cookies because why not, I'm on vacation. Also at the International Cafe, you're gonna find the main coffee shop here on board. So they've got the espresso makers just behind. Of course, you can complement it with the different pastries and cookies. But if you love coffee, you know you're gonna find Taylor down here as well. So cappuccinos, macchiatos, lattes, Americanos, whatever it is you like, you can stop by. Now keep in mind, there are other coffee shop venues around the ship as well. This one tends to get a little bit busy in the morning. So I always go to, well, check it out and then check out another one as well. Now we're just inside the future cruise desk area where you can book your next cruise. Now we know you're gonna be having an incredible time while you're on board Princess, and there's no better place to rebook than right here. In fact, some of my favorite memories from Princess Cruises is coming down and getting those thick magazines where they have all the different options in those brochures where you can figure out all the places that Princess travels around the world but you're gonna be having an incredible time. Stop in here, you can take advantage of some options that are only available, discounts and promos that you can only get here on board. Make sure you reach out as soon as you get back and we can take care of every single step of the way from there on out so you can have another Princess Cruise vacation of a lifetime. One great thing about having Yao Ming associated with the launch of this particular ship is there's a lot of things my size here on board. Even this nice bottle of champagne. Hmm, I think that could get me through a week long cruise. Maybe. See you later, y'all. Now also on the piazza, you're gonna find vines. This is the wine bar. Every single one of the princess ships does have a wine bar here. So you've got wine tasting table here in the middle. You've got seating that's out on the piazza itself. And then you've got a ton of bar seating along as well. So it's got a, far, a full bar, but you're gonna have a much wider selection of wines here than you'll find anywhere else throughout the ship. You've got the wine cellar over there. And then in addition to that, you can order tapas in the afternoon and evening, and they're gonna bring those out with your drinks. So now I'm on the bottom floor of the piazza. Right here in the middle is where they do all kinds of different events. It's really a gathering place. So you've got tables and chairs wrapped all the way around. They'll have street performers and artists that will perform right here. And then with the bandstand over there, they're gonna have live music each and every day. So right now, they've got a pianist over there who's serenading us. Of course, they'll mix it up as we go. Now there's all kinds of different seating options. You see you've got more in the middle there. And I wanted to point out, you've got the Princess Logo Shops over on the far side. So you get those teddy bears. What I also love is we're sailing in Alaska, so they've got all the different Alaska items. You get some coats, maybe you forgot that, or you need one of those beanies for your head to keep it warm. But whatever it is that you'd like, if you want a Princess logo on it, or one of the local areas you visit, that's the place to stop by. Now set on the port side of the piazza, you're gonna have the bar piazza. So it's got a seating area in here, so you've got a nice large lounge. Of course, you can head up to the bar itself, hang out with the bartenders. They're some of the best in the business, but it also provides bar service throughout the entire plaza area. So you can see you can head further out onto the piazza and order drink service there as well. 
Now the largest of the three dining room options is the Symphony Dining Room. This is another one of those classic princess restaurants where you can take advantage of all of your favorites on the menu and they'll rotate throughout your time here. Now it's really about gathering with friends. Now you can gather at a table that's larger, so if you wanna dine with others, you can do that. If you're traveling just two of you, you can do that as well. So it's really about customizing to create that perfect dining experience for you, your friends, family, or group. Now a feature that Princess has that most cruise lines actually don't are laundromats on board. There's quite a few different ones that you can utilize. It is for an extra cost. You purchase your tokens right here using your medallion. You can also bring with you soaps and detergents if you'd like, if you have a specific one you use at home, or you can purchase them right here. Now one thing that is complimentary are the two ironing stations. So of course, if you wanna just press your clothes, you can do that in here anytime that you'd like. First off, thank you so much for taking your time to join us here today on board the beautiful Majestic Princess. I'm sure as you've toured around, you can see why this is the perfect option for so many of our guests. Now, when you're ready to book your next Princess Cruise, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of the interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group, and still get that incredible hard travel signature service. Now, I'm gonna enjoy the wake view and a drink. I'll see you guys later.